monsters, I build the Overlay Network, and achieve Summon! Appear! Number 4! Stealth Dragon!
Hello everyone, and I hope you enjoyed also replay. So, uh, this is interesting. Let's go through the car by car, and I'll just uh, highlight the more interesting uh, tech choices for this one. We're playing double Boston shark and double right hand shark, so we have the shark package, which allows us for quickly uh, for quick or uh, exceed summon of the skull kraken. We're also playing triple white stingray, so we have another extender. Uh, triple Leo, double Amphispana, and triple twin headed eagle. This is my basic heraldic beast package. Leo just searches everything. Amphisbana is just a free summon, and twin headed eagle just recycles exceed materials. Advanced Heraldry Art is the most OP spell in the archetype, and if it wasn't locked into Heraldic Beasts, it would have been just fucking amazing. That's all about it. Heraldry Reborn is a monster reborn for Heraldic Beasts, nothing very intriguing. A triple Mothman, Double Chupacabra, those are dangers, nothing important to say here. And the first deck choice of the deck, Knight Sword Serpent. This is um, interesting because if it's sent to the graveyard via card effect, it can special summon itself. Discard via danger, uh, via card destruction, or sending to the grave via foolish burial, those are effects. So this will trigger. And it will trigger a lot. And unfortunately, White Stingray sends to the graveyard by cost, so uh, this doesn't trigger the effect, but it would have been too much. But still, the fact that it triggers with any of the dangers gives us an additional extender and, of course, a level 4 on the board. For hand traps, we're playing Ash Blossom Imperm. We're playing Ghost and Match. Uh, since the deck focuses on establishing Skull Kraken, which changes all monsters on the field to water, Flipping Gozen Match basically locks the opponents into water, giving them little to no choice in establishing a board, since, well, there aren't that many water decks in the meta. Rank of Magic the 7th one is here because we're playing with Varian Shock. Uh, card destruction for some destruction of cards and some draw power, and Foolish Burial so we can send either Night Sword Serpent or Leo for search. Nothing really intriguing when it comes to the extra deck. Uh, Masquerade, Utopia the Lightning, Masquerade, Double Bahamut, One Utopia, uh, Redoer, Black Ray Lancer, Baguska, Skull Kragen, uh, Dweller, Riparian Shock, One Frog, and the Utopia Future Package. I think this deck is really interesting. It can douches. Uh, the fact that it heavily relies on establishing Stealth Kraken uh, can be a bit of a issue if you cannot establish this monster, but with all the cards we have, it's uh, very easy to do. So, without further ado, let's go to the stats. <laughs> 